In this video, we're gonna learn some basics of Reality Hub. I have two blueprints. One is for the video wall with texture pin exposed. And another one is the door which has two basic functions. One is open and another one is close. We have already added ZD Actor which exposes all public variables and functions to Node Graph. Let's hit play, after which you would be able to navigate the scene with your mouse and keyboard shortcuts. Press Shift F1 to regain the mouse control and let's move to the Reality Hub. We can see this default engine node right there. Let's open my saved R Graph. As you can see, we have two nodes, one for video wall and other one is door with open and close functions. Let's test them both. Let's provide media input to this video wall node. Right click and search for media input. Connect the nodes. From the drop-down, browse the media from Asset Browser. From Function tab, hit Play. Now it's time to create a template for this. Click this orange triangle at top right corner to open Form Builder. Hit New Form button to create new layout. At top, you can see several components that helps you to create user interface. Let's drag two button component on this empty area. Now select the node to bind these buttons with functions. Control click to highlight one of them. Click on this circular icon, select assign to action button. Button on the form will immediately adopt the function's name. Now repeat the process with the closed door function as well. Now save the form. Your saved form will appear as a template in the Playout tab. Check the functionality and it's working as expected. Now double click on the button component and select show in rundown option for both buttons. This will expose these components inside the rundown section. Click at this button at the top right corner to add new item in the rundown. You can see both buttons here. Now click this orange triangle button again to slide in the form builder window. Now let's check Reality Hub timeline feature. At the bottom right corner, click on this triangle to slide up action panel. You can click this plus sign to open or create actions or use these buttons. Click the new action button. You can see the timeline view. Click on this icon besides the function and from drop down select timeline option. This will add the function to the action panel. Now click the circles beside the function name and select add keyframe. Now move the timeline at your desired location and repeat the same process for closed door function.
When I hit this play icon, the timeline comes into the action and trigger the associated function when it reaches to the linked keyframe. By clicking the plus sign, you can add multiple actions with timeline. And also open saved actions. Click this triangle again to slide down the action panel. Designers can make most of the resourceful node graph editor. Right click to search and add the mixer node. Connect the multi viewer pin to the engine display. You can see engine display changed to the multi viewer screen where each screen will show the output of any node, camera, masks, and mats. Now right click to add camera node, which will be our virtual camera. Connect the output to channel 1. Now add user track node which helps to imitate the tracking data. You can click this icon to activate the virtual gamepad on the right bottom corner. Right click and drag to move around the scene. You can also use A, S, D and W key while dragging for the better navigation. You can also connect the program pane of mixer node to engine display to see the full screen view without multi view. You always have known linear approach while using our graph. Right click to search the color corrector node. Now connect the camera output pin to input 0 of color corrector node. Connect the output to channel 2 of the mixer. Now you can see two camera output in multi viewer. In channel 1, the camera output is without color correction node and in channel 2, with color correction. Let's play around to see the difference. Don't forget to save the R graph in database. You can check your saved R graph here.